Football team needs your help tonight. Someone broke into their equipment container and stole everything, leaving them to practice with no pads and no idea how to now move forward. Well, that team in Bell Gardens is supposed to start its season in just a few weeks. Yeah, but now they have to scramble, hoping to find enough equipment to even play. KK Line Stacy Butler is live tonight in Bell Gardens where she spoke with some of the players. Stacy? Yes, yeah, Susie and Jeff, right behind me is the field where they play, and just beyond that is their storage shed where they keep all of their equipment that they use. Well, yesterday, they noticed that the, the door was open. They thought someone had just gone in, maybe left it open. Well, it turns out almost everything in there had been cleaned out, and now they have to start from scratch. Ready, set, get your hands, get your hands, get your hands. As the sun sets over the Bell Gardens youth football practice, the team isn't the same. The boys ages 5 to 14 are trying to stay positive, but they're playing without helmets, shoulder pads, or knee pads. They can't. This weekend, they were stolen. Definitely heartbreaking. Above anything else, heartbreaking. Police say someone broke into this shed feet from where they practice at Bell Gardens High and stole tens of thousands of dollars in football equipment, equipment that took the team years to raise the money to buy. It's a devastating loss to a program that has to raise money every year to basically, you know, sustain itself. There's 15, 13 year old kids here that just want to have fun. If you're if you're stealing from that, then you need more life. Then you need some higher life standards. 13 year old Thomas Bracken says this loss has little to do with football. I've learned how to take care of myself, other people, and my overall way of teaching myself that I am truly worthy of love. When former player Juan Barajas heard the news, he showed up as soon as he could with a donation, his own shoulder and knee pads. I was kind of shocked because I didn't, I don't really know who would do something like that. I don't really know what else to do other than at least, this is the least I could do. The team is heavy hearted, but they know what it is to fight, not just for a win but against losing hope. So to know that everything that we've been racing for for years was gone, it's, it's a step back and um, the only thing that we were left to do is move forward. Let's go, do it again. Hustle back, Andre, outside shade. And so the way that they're going to move forward is just start from square one, raising money. Uh, the boys are determined to do it any way they can. Right now they've set up a GoFundMe. Uh, they've got a little bit in that account, but if you'd like to go check it out, maybe help out, just go to our website, kcal9.com. That's the very latest from Bell Gardens. Jeff and Susie, back to you. All right.